One of the most common places that accidents happen around horses is in fields and around gates and working around other horses. Oftentimes when people are injured, it's not that the horse is intentionally trying to hurt the person, but the person's in the way. The horse goes after another horse, he goes to kick out, and that person happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So today I wanna to just give you some really simple advice for bringing a horse in and out of a gate when you've got another horse that might be trying to get in your way or might be trying to mess with the horse that you're holding. I'm Callie, I'm here with Carly, who's one of the school horses, and with Herman, who's one of our boarders. And these two horses live in the field together. They're pretty attached, especially Herman to Carly. So when Carly's coming back to her field, he tends to want to crowd the gate and kind of bother her, and she gets a little annoyed and sometimes likes to kick out or try to bite him. So I thought this would be a really good example to show you in our video today. So you're watching the weekly show here at CRK Training, and today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of um, just general handling tips for you. So the first thing that I'm gonna do when I come to the gate here is I'm always thinking about how can I set myself up to work my horse through the gate um, in the most easy way possible. This gate gives me the option of I can go, I can open it in, or I can open it out towards me. So what I'm gonna do here, because I've got, got uh, Herman right there, is I'm gonna shoo him away a little bit. I'm gonna open the gate towards me and I'm just gonna send her in and then turn her right around. I'm gonna try to stay close to the gate so that I can keep control of the gate. And also, I'm gonna um, keep control of her head. So I'm gonna be asking her to move her hindquarters around so that I'm always close to her head. I'm not by her hindquarters if she would go to kick. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, just to shoo him away, one of the things that people often struggle with is when horses are in a case like this, they're focused on each other, they might be distracted by things, especially if the horse was a little upset and maybe he's anxious, he was running around. Sometimes we have to really take our, our energy up in kind of a big way in order to get them to move off. So I'm gonna start small, just with a little spin of my rope. And then if I need to get a little bigger, or even let the tail end reach out there and, and touch him, you can see I, I had to escalate and do that. So now I've opened my gate, I've got Carly here. I'm gonna set myself up, so I changed my hands so that I can bring her in. I've got a good control of the gate. And then I can ask her to step back and I can come here, switch my hands again, so now I can close the gate. If I needed to ask him to move away, I could also do that. So now I'm gonna show you how I would also bring Carly back out of the gate. So I'm here, I've got Carly in this hand. First thing I'm gonna do, cause she's already starting to crowd a little bit, is I'm gonna just ask her to step back so I know that she's responding and she's aware of me. I'm gonna step here, there again. As she started to rush forward, I caught her. I'm asking her to take a step back so I know she's not gonna just kind of push through me as I'm coming through. Now I'm gonna open up the gate just enough that there was space for her. And you notice I had her walk through and I stayed where I had control of the gate the whole time. Leave a comment down below and just let me know what is one area of just general horse management, working with your horse on a daily basis, um, whether you keep your horse at your own place, whether you board or you're riding school horses, what's something that you would love more tips on for being comfortable and for staying safe? Leave a comment down below. If you're seeing this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, go there for the best conversation and comments.